Hi you all, today I'll be showing you how to make a seamless pattern in the Procreate application for iPad. You can use this pattern to make your own brush. So grab your iPad and your Apple Pencil and draw along with me. Choose a sketching brush. I'm using my signature brush today, which I'll link below. Using black, draw your pattern. Leave a white border around the canvas. If you'd like to make your pattern a little bit darker, swipe on the layer, duplicate, and pinch those two together. Once you have your basic pattern, duplicate it to keep it safe. Click on the two squares, swipe left, tap duplicate. Click the check mark to hide the bottom layer. Now use the top layer to create your repeating pattern. Swipe to lock the bottom layer. A symbol to add a new layer. Choose a bright color and drop it on top. Click on the two squares, tap the large N, and slide the opacity bar left. This top cover will allow us to see where the edges of the pattern meet. Swipe right to highlight both layers and tap group. Tap on the arrow to close the group. Swipe left, tap duplicate. Now there are two groups that have the pattern with a cover. This will help us find the edges. Zoom out so that you can see all of the edges clearly. Tap on the arrow tool. Click on the lightning bolt. Turn on snapping and magnetics. Not touching any of the blue handles, push outside to the left until you find the orange vertical line. Click on the two squares. Click on the bottom group. Tap the arrow and pull to the right until you meet the middle vertical orange line again. Tap on the arrow tool. You shouldn't see a white line or a darker green line. Your pattern is now ready to go to the next step. Tap on the two squares, open each of these groups, press and hold on the color layer until it jumps up into the air and drag it to the top. Now it's outside of this group. Repeat this step on the other color layer. Now both of the groups are only the pattern itself and not the color. At this point we can pinch them to merge them together. So now the pattern is once again on one layer and we can do the same thing with the color layers. Pinch them together. Swipe right to highlight both of them in blue. Tap on the group. Close the group. Swipe left. Tap duplicate. So in the first part, we pushed left and right, so now we need to do the opposite, up and down. Click on the arrow tool. We still have magnetics and snapping turned on. Push up, following the orange line again, until you meet the horizontal orange line. There it is. Tap on the arrow tool. Click on the two squares, tap the bottom group. Tap the arrow tool, and once again push, this time down. Meet that orange line, and you can let go. Tap on the arrow tool. Zoom in to double check that there is not a white line or a dark green line. If these aren't present, then you are ready to go to the next step. Tap on the two squares, open up each of these again. This time, swipe and delete the color layers. Now you can pinch these together. Your pattern is now a seamless repeating pattern. However, you might not like this space, so this is where we can bring back the layer that we had saved before. Turn on this layer and hide the top layer. For my pattern, all I want from this layer is going to be these leaves. Tap on this layer, use the ribbon tool on freehand. Select whatever you would like to copy to keep for your pattern. Three finger swipe down and duplicate. Click on the two squares, hide the original layer and lock it. Turn on the top layer, which is your seamless pattern. Hide the bottom layer. On your pattern layer, erase or use the ribbon tool on freehand to take out whatever you do not want. Be sure that you are on the pattern layer when you do this. Tap the gray circle and three finger swipe to clear the selection. Go back to the other layer and select one or two of your shapes to cut and paste into the pattern layer.
turn off snapping and magnetics if they get annoying. Place your extra shape wherever you want it. Add any extra elements that you want. Two finger pinch to merge the layers together. You can duplicate this pattern to make it darker if you like. Now the pattern is ready to turn into a brush. Click on the wrench, tap share, JPEG, save image. Now this is saved to the camera roll. Tap on the brush tool. If you're new to making brushes, a good place to start is to find a brush that does something you like. For example, if I go to textures, I see that these are all repeating pattern brushes. So swipe, tap duplicate, now this is diagonal one. Tap it, select grain, edit, import, import a photo. All photos, then find the pattern we just made. Tap then two finger tap to invert the color. Tap done. Now this is what it looks like. Tap done again. Click on the two squares and hide this layer. Plus symbol to add a new layer and try the brush as it is. That looks pretty good, but I do see that some of my leaves are too close together. So I will now turn off the top layer and go back to my original texture and try again. Now repeat the same process. Wrench, Share, JPEG, Save Image. Click on the Brush tool and find the brush that you have been playing with. Mine is called Diagonal 1. When you find yours, tap on it. Brain should still be open. Tap Edit. Import, Import a Photo, All Photos. Click on the new texture pattern we just made. It's already inverted. Tap done. And done again. Hide the pattern layer again. Plus symbol to add a new layer. Try this one. Just keep playing with this until you like your results. This is the biggest size mine can be. It doesn't get very small. However, we can change this. Click on the brush tool, tap on the brush that you have been playing with. Try changing the scale. If you would like to get into color dynamics, tap on that now. Change the hue. Add a secondary color if you like. Tap done. Hide the layer. Add a new layer. Choose a color. Keep returning to your brush settings to try different things in the color dynamics. Keep playing with this until you like your results. Bring up the hue, saturation, and secondary color to see more color change. Wow, that's lovely. Once you have your brush exactly the way you like it, you're probably super proud of it and want to add your name to it. Go back to your brush settings, tap about this brush. Add a name, tap made by name to add your name or a handle that you use on social media. Add a photo if you like, sign here if you want to, tap to create a new reset point for your brush's default. Tap done. This looks great, but perhaps you'd like to add it to your own brush set. Scroll up on the left, tap the plus symbol to add a new brush set. Name it. Find your brush, press and hold until it jumps up in the air. Then with your other hand, find your brush set, drop it into the brush set. Now you have begun your new brush set. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what you thought, and I'll see you next time.